what's up my amazing viewers you are welcome back to this channel and in today's video we are going to be learning and having fun at the same time we are going to be learning how to make this beautiful structure on this dress and before we begin as a fashion designer have you ever had anybody living at several kilometers away from where you are asking you to design a dress for him or her when you don't have his or her measurement if no then be very expectant this might come at you in your work of fashion and even beginners should be aware of this and they know how to go about it when you meet such situations and this was the very story surrounding the creation of this dress i'll be telling you how i went about it and then how i was able to get that perfect i mean fitting for her i recently got a message from my sister sending me this picture she wanted me to design this dress for her for her birthday photo shoot as i said earlier on the only challenge was we lived in several kilometers apart and I needed to get her measurement for this design because I didn't have her measurement. So this was what I did. I asked my sister to go to the market and buy a measuring tape. And after she bought it, I made a video call with her that very evening. And I was directing her as to how she can take the measurement for me. So I'll be like, place the tip of the measuring tape here, move it to that end. What figure is there? Then she'll mention that, then I'll write it down. Then I'll tell her, okay, take it to that other side, place it here, bring it to this side. What figure is there? Then she'll say it, and I'll record down. So that was how I eventually got all her measurements. So if you come across such situation, just make a video call with the person. Or better still, you can let the person go to any seamstress or any fashion designer she trusts. And the person can take the measurements and then send it to you. If not, this is the best way to go about it. So this was how I went about it. And it came out so beautiful and it fitted her so well. Now let's get into the main video. And please, before we begin, I need a favor from you a favor i mean a favor you heard that right i mean a favor if you have not subscribed to this channel please kindly do so kindly hit that like button for me i mean hit it i really like that like button so just like it for me like it for me like it for me and as you do that be greatly blessed and as you do that be richly blessed now there are about three methods you can use to create this structure but i'm going to be teaching you only two for now there are two structures on this particular design i'm recreating so i'll use the first method for the down one then i'll use the second method for the upper one the first one i'm going to be creating is the one at the waist what you are seeing now i have already folded my fabric into two and I located the middle of that folded fabric and from that middle I folded it into two again so in this case I'm having four pieces on fold I'm measuring to make sure that the folded pieces will be enough for the structure I'm turning into the other side so that you can see it well whilst I'm marking it is the same thing I'm just changing the positions This is the folded point. I measured how long I wanted the structure to be and I divided that by 6.28. That is the normal formula if you want to cut a circle. And remember what I'm doing, I'm cutting it in a circular form. So that is the formula. The answer I got, I marked it all round like I'm illustrating. I just marked it all round. After that, I joined those points and from that line I measured how wide I wanted the structure to be so I wanted it to be four inches because I'll be using some for the same allowance so I measured four inches all around from that line and I joined that together to do and once I was done I went ahead to cut out it was a full circle but because I will need two pieces for this structure I have to fold the full circle into two so it will no more be a full circle and i folded that half circle into two again and notch the midpoint you realize that the design on the dress is not all that straight there's a, a part that is pointed and the other part is wide so i went to shape it 
how I wanted. At this point, you can be creative and then come out with any design you want. If you want it pointed, if you want it wide, just come with your own design. You know, fashion is all about creativity. I opened it up once I was done. And remember the two points are still joined together. So I cut that out using my scissors so that I can have a complete two pieces. Then I attach my interfacing to the lining. The next thing is to attach my boning to the fabric. We have the longer part, which is the outer lane. Then we have the shorter part, which is the inner lane. I'm going to be attaching this thing to my dress using the inner lane so i won't attach any bone in there i'm only attaching the bone to the outer lane i'm using a ridge bone in that's a sew on bone you can also use a plastic bone but in that case you have to create a room for the bone i want to stitch the bone to the outer lane like so and this was how it came out like also i attached the facing fabric to the lining right side facing each other remember i told you that i attached the interfacing to the lining and not the fabric so i've placed them right side facing each other then i'm going to sew the parts where the ridge lane boning was attached i'm going to be sewing on that line and once i was done stitching i turned it over and this was how it's looking like The next thing I did was to fold in the same allowance of both the fabric and the lining, like I'm illustrating. I'm just pushing the allowances inside so that I can do a top stitch. Once I push inside, I will secure it with my pins. That was what I did all around, and I went to top stitch. A lot of people are also asking me, how do we attach this structure to the dress? There are a lot of ways. So I'll be teaching you about two to three ways. I stitched all around and after that, I did a top stitching on the parts where the wriggling bone was. With the help of my glue gun, I gave this structure just a design which is quite similar to what was on the picture i added some stones but at the end of the day it was giving my structure a lot of color so i decided to remove them then i didn't want this video to be so long so i'll be filming another video showing you how to use the other method to make the upper part and in that video i'll be showing you how to attach it to your dress i'll be using the hook and eye method with the hook and eye method your client can remove it and